How are you, everybody? This is Freddie Ewan with a TPFFKAL special report. Um, the news had broken out early last week that um, the owner of the Virginia Sea Dogs will no longer be competing in the TPFFKAL. If anyone knows, the owner of the uh, the GM of the Sea Dogs was the runner up for the Pantheon Cup and the current GM of the year, the only GM to win the GM of the year besides myself. Um, it looks like there's been some um, issues that um, that this GM had, which uh, we're going to try to get him live on the line. But I'm just going to read a couple things that uh, we were able to get some information from him. Um, he had sent me this text message. The trade back is still in effect for this season because it was allowed, but no more trade backs this year. I just wanted to see all new suggested rules be voted on by all 12 GMs as opposed to a small advisory group. That's how I ran my league and everyone was engaged and happy because they felt like they had a voice. I told Rich I'd be a special assistant to stay involved, but I don't think he's interested. Oh, well, that's how it goes, I guess. I told him if the rules change and an opening comes back, I'll be back. So. Obviously, um, uh, people, uh, including myself, didn't really know what the trade back, buyback, trade back rule was exactly. And, and, and the uh, the GMs involved were, you know, really, they were just bottom level GMs. I don't think any of them had ever made the um, TPFFK playoffs before. And, you know, if you're not a um, dominant franchise like TOD, like uh, TDK, like the Virginia Sea Dogs, uh, like Shake and Bake, then you look for rules to get around the TPFFKAL. And uh, this has obviously had a, a huge effect on uh, we lost not only the number one rival, but um, TOD's number one rival, but uh, the current reigning GM of the year. So this is a really big deal. Um, and I think that um, what the uh, the GM of the Sea Dogs was looking for was instead of uh, was uh, defecating the board, getting rid of it, destroying it, and let every man vote, let every twelve man vote. I am in. Uh, I am the commissioner for two other fantasy football leagues. Um, uh, one is a uh, redraft, uh, usually the same twelve guys every year. It's a little bit more expensive than this league, and the other one is a uh, fantasy league that I've had for God, probably about thirteen, fourteen years now. Uh, auction draft, and you can keep uh, three or four keepers. We don't get into the um, the training of cap room or anything like that for the next year, but we do have uh, votes. All twelve people can vote to make the rules. Um, you know, there's some decisions that I, I make as the commissioner, but for the most part, we do let all twelve people vote, and uh, that is what I am proposing right now to the commissioner of the TPFFKAL that we destroy the board right now, we reinstate J Dot, and we put them right back in the Virginia Sea Dogs and get this going again. So that I am calling today for the demanding of the TPFFKAL board and the reinstatement of the of the uh, GM of the Sea Dogs. I'm going to try to get the Sea Dogs on right now. I doubt he's going to get on, but I'm going to give it a shot. I did not let him know that I was uh, coming alive, but um, I am going to try to get him on as soon as possible. Let's see how I can do this. I am going to. Um, send him a message inviting him to see if he can get on and hopefully we'll be able to get it from the horse's mouth i know he likes to prepare for these things before he hops on but i'm going to send him this and see if he gets on the zoom because we want to hear straight from the horse's mouth but we are looking for j dot to be reinstated to the tpffkl for the trade back buyback whatever rule to be destroyed and for any people trying to cheat the rules to be immediately suspended from the league without pay. Anyway, while we're at it, let's see if we can get into a little fantasy football today while we're at it. Some actual fantasy football instead of all the drama. All right. Um, fantasy sleepers for 2000. 24 fantasy sleepers for 2024 football. Let's see if we can have this. Five players that I am interested in drafting because they are steals at the ADP. 
First guy, Travis Kels. This guy was a top five, six pick. He's going in like uh, late second round, early third round now. Um, Chiefs won the Super Bowl last year. I know Mahomes didn't put up the grand numbers, but the, I mean, there's no super wide receivers coming out there anymore. Um, you know, Kelsey, I think is a, you know, if you can get him in the, in the second round, that is a steal. That is someone that I'm going to be going for. Obviously big steal. I don't know why his ADP dropped. He was a little bit off. He didn't, he, you know, the chiefs were a little bit off this year until they got to the playoffs. I still think, I, you know, you know, Mahomes is without a pure number one receiver. Um, they're trying to find the next Tyreek Hill, but, you know, he might be on the roster, but they're not sure yet. Marquise Brown, I, no, you know, but Travis Kels is still going to catch a lot of footballs. He's still going to get in the end zone. I think he's a first round pick. Um, looks like most other people don't. The other person that I think is a steal, which I really, I was trying to win the league last year and really kind of just traded him away as trade bait, but um, Shake and Bake's going to, you know, Shake and Bake won that trade in the long run. Garrett Wilson, I think, is going to have a big year. Um, as long as Rodgers is healthy, uh, Brees Hall is there. They have a good defense. They have a good running game. Jets, if they get it all together, if Aaron Rodgers is healthy, they're going to be good. Garrett Wilson is going to get a lot of looks. He's never had, um, you know, this guy had uh, Zach Wilson throwing him the ball for the last two years. So it's like, and, and he put up great numbers. So just wait till Aaron Rodgers is passing. We said this last year before Aaron Rodgers went down with the ACL. But I think Garrett Wilson is a great, great, great gang of fantasy lines. The other guy, let's talk about quarterback who I think should be drafted in probably you know, he should be, you know, I think this guy should be maybe the third or fourth quarterback taken. Um, I've seen him going outside the top 100 is uh, Brock Purdy. Everyone is like, you know, Brock Purdy has done nothing but succeed in the NFL. Uh, he's put up great numbers and he's been a legitimate fantasy quarterback. But everyone just keeps on saying, oh, because he was a, you know, because he was Mr. Ambell in a seventh round draft pick. Um, you know, it, it's just a fluke or something. It's not a fluke. Brock Purdy is a legitimate quarterback in the NFL. He took the 49ers to the Super Bowl last year, almost won a world championship, um, ended up losing to Kansas City in overtime. Purdy didn't make a whole lot of mistakes in that game either. I think Purdy is just going to get better and better. Um, don't know if the 49ers are going to repeat to the Super Bowl because my Eagles are coming back and looking good, but um, Brock Purdy is a top pick. The other guy. Running back, uh, Zach Moss. Zach Moss was a, a good running back last year when he was on the Colts. He put up some numbers. Uh, Joe Mixon is is uh, Joe Mixon. I think Joe Mixon is gone, right? Didn't Joe Mixon move somewhere else? So I mean, Moss is the only Moss is the you know he's going in like rounds nine and ten. Zach Moss put up some numbers last year. He's going to be the lead back in Cincinnati. Cincinnati's going to have Burrow back. They're going to have a good offense. Moss is going to get plenty of opportunities. I would take this guy before a lot of other running backs. And then the last guy that I want to talk about, who's also going lane drafts, and I have no idea because if you're if you're drafting a quarterback, this is a redraft league, and you're drafting a rookie quarterback for one year. Jane Daniels, man, is going to be the best quarterback in the in. He's going to be the best rookie quarterback. You know, I I think the Bears are going to Williams is going to be uh, Williams is going to be somewhat um, excited um, to have and everything, but. Jane Daniels is going to be the guy who's going to be thrown to the fire. He's going to be running the ball. He's going to be passing the ball. I think Jane Daniels is going to have the best rookie quarterback numbers. He will probably win rookie of the year. Um, anyway, J. Dot, it does not look like he's going to get on the show. I know I have to, you know, set a meeting with his secretary for times in advance so he can get this thing up and he can go through it and the whole nine yards. But the TPFFKL will not be the same without the Sea Dogs GM. I don't even want to play in the league anymore, to tell you the truth, with, without with, without J. Dot Brian McCluskey. Um, I will because I'm I'm be, because you know I I am I I pretty much am the only TPFFKL Hall of Famer. Maybe Jimmy is as well, but you know I am a first ballot TPFFKL Hall of Famer, and uh, J. Dot was on his way too. But 
J dot out of the league is like, um, I don't know. It's just like, you, you know, it's like missing a cherry on a Sunday. Almost. I, I don't, I won't have a rival anymore. Um, J dot brings a lot of, of um, acknowledgement and um, he knows his fantasy football. A lot of guys playing fantasy football in this league. Don't know shit about fantasy football. Let's face it. You know who you are. Um, you do it for fun. You have a good time and blah, 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 blah. But you don't know shit about fantasy football. A lot of guys do know a lot about fantasy football, and those are the ones that have been successful over the years. Not going to name any names. Not going to name any names. But, J-Dot, we need you back for the TPFFKL immediately. I am calling for the commissioner to ban this board, get rid of the board, make everything a 12-man vote, and reinstate J-Dot, Brian McCluskey, to the Virginia Sea Dogs immediately. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.